Hey guys, and Calistratrus here, bringing you some more Minecraft Redstone today. Today we are bringing you my vertical bidirectional shift register. It is a too high stackable design. I created it in response to uh, Banana Lord's design, which is over here. I thought his was a little bulky, so I decided to make a smaller version. Um, and also, to, I guess it's an improvement of my other design, which is really only useful as a stack register, which is still my C CPU in progress. ALU's done everything on that, so. And uh, what I did here is I used uh, piston uh, bud latches, or I guess you can call them D, -latch D latches, uh, and they're in a tree form like this, and the output is sent to these NAND gates here. One of, from the from the torch here, that is the inverse of the state of the piston. It powers up and into the neck with the glowstone here into the the input of the next one, and also down from here, and then input to the one below it. And it is toggled by this input of the NAND, the NAND gates, which I used a torch ladder just to make it simple and compact. It would be much more efficient if you use some other way of uh, powering it, uh, space-wise, and it wouldn't have this propagation lag here. You don't want to shift while this thing is lagging, while this thing is switching between the states, otherwise you'll get half it split up and down. I guess you can use that feature if you want half it shift up and half it shift down. That's a bit of a timing issue, but you can do it. And uh, to uh, to shift it, I use a one tick pulse. You can also it's also edge triggerable, so you can use an use a an edge of a line instead of a one tick pulse. And it's brought from the torts here and up to the glowstone ladder to every other level. The first one is just like that because it just barely doesn't make it to the top. One block short if you power it straight from the bottom. Sorry, and it's done through uh, using a powered rail to cause a block update on the piston. And uh, yes, that's pretty much how it works. So let's give you an example. Oh, um, underneath these glowstone here, you can see there is a dust. Now I got to be careful this time because I completely broke the design. Now uh, that was done with me, but I'll try and fix it on the fly. Actually, it's a lot easier if I just do this. I don't know why I was doing it the hard way. Okay, yeah, there's glowstone in there, so power from uh, this one here powers that block, powers the wire on top of the glowstone, goes up here and is not interfered. And from this side, it goes up here, goes down the, through the glowstone because it's not blocking it, and back up here. So that's how I get both ways. So now let's shift a byte in here. Hopefully I didn't mess something up there. If something goes wrong, it's because I was breaking, I broke some of the glowstone and tried to fix the wiring. So we're, oh, we're shifting downward, but it still shifts in if you hold it like that. If you put hold the force the line like that high. So yeah, it's still forced high. So let's push another one in, and we'll put a zero in, and another one. Okay, so we got our nibble into the shift register, as you can see it here. Now we're going to shift it up a few blocks. So pulse. As you notice, they're all instantaneous. All of them happen at the exact same time. Very useful feature. And I did break something because that one disappeared. Okay. So there's a bit, bit of dust uh, broken probably somewhere in here. But uh, let's try and ignore that and just work around with it, with, with it right now. And I'll show you how it works. I fixed an issue where if I had a four tick pulse, it was causing them to drop around that area too. So I might have messed something up, but. So you can see it shifts down, and you just have to wait a bit while shifting up again. And if you want to shift down, you try and do it too quick. Oh, no, I didn't get the error, but sometimes they'll shift up and down if you are not paying attention to that. So that is my uh, vertical bidirectional shift register. I've broken something in it while I was uh, tinkering around, so there's a bit of dust missing on top of one of those glowstones. So it glitched around there on the one tick pulse, or I've missed a repeater. Or I've hit a repeater into two ticks, so.